Hey guys, I'm here again. Only three days after making my last video. What's on? What's what's going on? What's happening to me? Although I promise you, I'm here in a different grey top. I realised recently. I looked at the few thumbnails of the past few videos. And it's like I wear a lot of grey tops, <laughs> and I looked at my wardrobe, and it's like, yeah, I have a few grey tops. <laughs> so I'm wearing once again my dazzling, fantastic, show-stopping grey T-shirt once again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm talking about habit change. Do you have bad habits? I've got, I've got, we've got bad habits. We've got unhealthy habits. Uh, and I, is my, in my work as a personal trainer and a coach, a lifestyle coach, I help people address these unhealthy habits so that they can live the life they want. Because your life is a result of the habits, the things that you do day in day out. They don't require much thought or much effort or much willpower on your part. That's what essentially gives you the results in your life. So your life is a result of your habits. So when people come to me to change things, they want to change, I look at their habits. I look at what they're willing to change. I look at how we're going to change it. And the how is usually the challenging part. Once you've found the why, it's, it's, um, it's usually a case of finding the how. How do you change a habit? Um, it's a pretty long drawn out process sometimes and it requires an immediate sort of face to face dialogue or over Skype or something like that. But it requires a kind of dialogue, honest and open conversation. But I've got a tip that I wanted to share with you today that has been really useful for me. Now picture this, you want to reduce, you want to cut alcohol out of the equation, you drink too much and you want to take alcohol out of the equation, you don't want to drink as much alcohol. What you do is you tell yourself straight away, I'm going to drink no alcohol. That story about your habit is what you're running with now. I drink no alcohol. And you're saying that I am successful if on this day I haven't drunk any alcohol, okay? Now, this method of thinking relies heavily on willpower and it doesn't really last very long. Let me tell you why. Habit is stronger than your willpower, number one. And two, what you've done is you've created a story around alcohol, we'll say wine, in that it's an enemy. And now when you create such a, a negative energetic charge of a thing itself, you create more of a story around it, it keeps it in your mind more. So if I told you not to think of a pink elephant, you're likely gonna think of a pink elephant, are you not? You're likely gonna conjure up some image, or you're thinking of the word pink elephant, but if I tell you not to, then it, it creates a, a story in the mind, a negative association that the mind loves to ruminate over. So first of all, what I get to someone wanting to reduce their alcohol, and I'm using the alcohol as just an example. There's plenty of examples to use, but if someone came to me, it's really common, the alcohol one actually. If someone comes to me saying they want to reduce the amount of wine they drink, I'd, I'd ask them how much wine they're drinking already. Let's say three bottles, which does happen by the way. Say they're drinking three bottles of wine a night. Instead of saying, okay, cut alcohol out of the equation, stop drinking alcohol, what I will do, I will say to them, right, let's flip the script, Let's say you are rewarded with two bottles of wine a night. <laughs> Spend them wisely, you're drinking two bottles of wine a night. And usually, people, th because you're rewarding them, because people like to be rewarded, positive reinforcement, affirmation, that sort of thing. If you say two bottles of wine a night, they're more likely to do it. Because what they're saying, they're not focusing, the mind is, the consciousness is not focusing on that which they do not have. The consciousness, in the way that we've framed that habit, is now depend it's now it's now focusing on that which is being given and that which is being given is like a reward which creates a positive association which creates a positive feedback loop that will get you to integrate in this new habit which usually takes around 66 days by the way to form a new habit um, and once they've integrated that two bottles of wine a night you can then start to look at other things potentially one bottle of wine a night give yourself one bottle of wine a night or whatever the case is. The point is you need those positive, you need that positive reward and you need a positive narrative surrounding the new habit. If, you, if the new habit you're trying to integrate is negative and restrictive in nature, then you're gonna struggle because you're going sheerly on willpower alone. And when willpower is brought into the equation surrounding something that you don't like, then it's even shorter, you know, it's, it's not gonna last as, um, as long. It's gonna burn out a lot quicker, because you hate it, you know? Creating a positive association and creating a narrative that you, whereby you are rewarded, 
it sort of feeds the limbic system of the brain, the old chimp brain, it feeds it. The one that wants short-term gratification, you know, in the form of a reward. So that's the video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I salute you. And your habit-changing efforts. If you want to know more about this, guys, there are a few different channels of communication open to you. If you struggle with your habits, uh, oh cow Lishaw, oh cow Lishaw at gmail.com. Check out me out on Facebook and Instagram if you want to get in contact with me and you need help, then let me know. Uh, but if not, then guys, just subscribe to this channel and like this video and just comment. Let me know you're there. And uh, yeah, I'll be making more videos, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Ollie is out. Peace.